hello friends welcome to the video today we will be learning about the x-ray machine now x-ray system it can be categorized into three types the first one is manual method of x-ray processing uh, the second one is uh, CR system or we call it as computed radiography and the third one is DDR system which we can uh, uh, call it as direct digital radiography now here in this video we are going to discuss about computed radiography which is commonly used in most of the hospitals in India. Now uh, what is um, manual x-ray processing? In manual x-ray processing we use uh, x-ray cassettes uh, inside which the film is placed and the x-ray exposure is done. Now this x-ray cassette is um, unloaded in a dark room. Uh, facilitated with a red safety light. In the presence of the red light, we take the film out and we process it using certain types of chemicals known as developer and fixer solutions. Now this takes longer time because it will take at least 30 minutes to process the film and get the image. Whereas in CR system, we use cassettes which is loaded with intensifying screens. Now this cassettes may be exposed and it can be read using a CR reader. When the cassette is read using a CR reader or after the cassette is read using a CR reader, we get the image in the computer monitor. Talking about direct digital radiography, as soon as the exposure is done, we get the image on the computer system. In a computed radiography or in a CR system, we have to read the cassette, only then we get the image. Whereas in DR system, as soon as the exposure is done, we get the image on the computer screen. Now this is the x-ray tube, this is the x-ray table and this is the chest stand. Now the x-ray table is used for taking x-rays of lumbar spine, thoracic spine, chest AP views and uh, abdomen AP supine views. All these views are taken or all these views are uh, taken by uh, with the patient lying down on the x-ray table. Now x-rays such as chest x-ray, shoulder x-ray, c-spine x-rays, knee joint standing x-rays, all these x-rays are taken using the erect uh, chest stand. Okay, now this is the collimation. This is the collimation light. Now here you can see the area of the x-ray field. Okay, this area can be reduced by using the collimator shutters. Okay. So these, these are the shutters, so, so this can be adjusted to reduce and increase the collimator. So we have two shutters, this is the second shutter, this also can be adjusted to uh, increase or decrease the area of x-ray exposure. So if you are going to uh, take x-ray of a smaller part, then we can reduce the area of the x-ray field. If you are going to take x-ray of the larger part, we can increase the area of the x-ray field. Now this tube it can be brought down and it can be pulled up. So this will help in adjusting the film focus distance. So film focus distance means it is the distance between uh, between the cassette and the x-ray tube. Now under this table we have the bucky tray. So in the bucky tray we will, so this is the lock of the bucky tray, we can remove the lock, insert the cassette in this manner, then lock it and put the tray inside. So this is called the bucky tray. In this bucky tray we keep the cassette to take x-rays. Now, when we are using bucky tray to take the x-rays or when we are placing the cassette in the bucky to take the x-rays uh, such as in case of uh, LS spine, TL spine, chest AP, uh, hip joint, AP lateral, we generally use the bucky to reduce the scattered radiation. Now when we are using the bucky tray, we need to center the x-ray uh, tube. So that means the 
center of the this um, collimation should coincide with the central line of the table here you can see there is a black line passing through the center of the table so this line should coincide with the central line of the collimation so this is how we center the table now here you can see different size of cassette the first one this is the 1714 cassette this is a larger cassette used to take x-ray of larger area specifically the chest region the ls spine dorsal spine uh, etc now this is the smaller cassette its size is 10 into 12 inches now this cassette can be used to take x-rays of smaller parts such as hand uh, wrist joint uh, foot x-rays angle uh, angle joint x-rays all these x-rays are taken using the smaller cassette now this is the control panel so this is the on button so we will switch it on here in the control panel you can see the different body parts are mentioned here so accordingly we can change the body parts so when we change the body parts an automatic exposure factor is set here now this exposure factors we can reduce it or we can increase it based on the size of the patient uh, and um, based on the age of the patient now this is the standby switch so we will press the standby switch when the x-ray tube is ready we will expose it okay so we can also use this for exposures okay so first we will give the first uh, switch now when the machine is ready so here the blinking stops and this shows that the x-ray tube is ready we will press it once more to expose it now this is the CR cassette reader okay this is the computer screen so first what we do is that we enter the patient's name okay we will enter the patient's name we will select the gender of the patient we will also give the uh, age here and we will select the part okay if you are going to take chest x-ray we will select the chest if you are going to take spine we will select the spine Okay, now when the body part is selected, we will insert the cassette. Cassette is inserted in this way. Okay, in this way, we will be inserting the cassette. Now once the cassette is inserted, the image will be uh, uh, recorded or the image captured inside the cassette will be read by the computer system. and we will get the image on the monitor now once the cassette is read we get the image uh, on the screen in this manner now here you can see various tools which are used for processing the images we can uh, increase uh, the contrast we can adjust the brightness we can put the marker here so all these uh, tools are used for processing the images so this is how we get the image on the computer system once the cassette is read so this is the printer okay now once the image uh, is read by the CR reader and once the image is received on the computer screen we can give the print command once the print command is given we get the printout of the x-ray images so this is the printout of the x-ray image okay so we get the printout in this manner now in case of a CR system we are using cassettes now in case of a DR system what we are doing is we will be using detectors. So detectors will be, uh, uh, detectors are already placed under the table and uh, behind the standing bucky and uh, once exposure is made we get the image on the computer screen. So hope you like the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video useful please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.